By the way, this instructional video was actually uh, initiated by a student of mine who relentlessly came over and asked me about this question. It was part of the homework. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. Let's call him uh, Stevenson McMaster's Johnson. Okay, thank you, Stevenson. So, how did this work out, huh? Last time, a side was given, but this time, a potham. So once again, let's think of this in terms of a triangle. Right there. Right there. And in fact, let's break that isosceles triangle into half right there. So that the hypotenuse, I'm sorry, that's not the hypotenuse, that's the apothem. The height is 15. So what we don't know this time, let's label this again DEF. So once again, it's a, we know that out of 180 or 360 divided by 5, it's going to be 72 degrees. And since we took half of that 72, this is going to be 36 degrees. So we're going to use that point as a point of reference to use our identities, true identities. So what do we have this time? We have the adjacent side. What we do not have is the hypotenuse, nor the opposite side. So which one actually uses the adjacent side as part of the identity is actually the tangent. Because remember, the tangent of a given, theta, a given angle theta is identified as the quotient of opposite adjacent. So we have one of those. <laughs> okay, so we need to look for the opposite. So in this case, when we say tangent of the reference point th uh, theta, which is 36 degrees, the opposite is the side indicated by the vertices EF. And the denominator adjacent becomes the 15. So if I try to solve for EF, I'm going to multiply the 15 to both sides of the equation. So in fact, what we have is 15 times the tangent of 36 degrees is going to give us that distance of EF. And I think that's about all we need to find the area of a triangle because area of a triangle, again, is one-half base times height. So there's that one-half. Now the base of this whole triangle, isosceles, is double whatever this is. So whatever that this is, which is EF, we have to multiply by 2. And so we say 2 times that 15 tangent of 36 degrees. And the height is the apothem, and the height is given as 15. Not too bad so far. And so we're going to simplify this expression. So we're going to say, well, the coefficient 1 half and 2, they simplify. So we have 15 times 15, which is 225, I believe, right? 225 tangent of 36 degrees. However, that's just one part of that pentagon. That's just one triangle out of that pentagon. So we need to multiply the whole thing by 5 now. Because we're talking about a pentagon. So therefore, 2 to 5 times... It says my batteries are low. So if we say 2 to 5 times 5 total triangles area is 11... 25 times the quantity of tangent of 36 degrees. And that's the total area. And if you wanted to kind of get a numerical value of that, then you go 1125 tangent of 36 degrees. We get around 817.36 unit squared. There it is. How about the perimeter, though? All right, so for perimeter... What you want is to determine the base of that one isosceles triangle, which we said is double the vertices EF, the segments EF. So it's going to be double the 15 tangent of 36. So double the 15 is 30 tangent of 36 degrees. But that's just one base of this pentagon. So we have to multiply the whole thing by 5. So the perimeter actually equals 5 times 30, which is 150 tangent of 36 degrees. And if you want to get a numerical value of that guy, you go 150 times 
tangent of 36 degrees, you get a value of 108.98 approximately units long around the whole perimeter of the Pentagon. All right, so I hope you found this useful. Good luck. Go get it.